teach yourself how to make a hyper realistic vector design that is actually a lot easier to make than you probably think. And sponsoring today's video is Envato, which has a huge selection of graphic design goodies to download to help with your next project. Stick around to the end of the video to see how I made use of some of their vectors to make this design right here. Now to actually generate a beautiful pearlescent design, we want to have a stroke only in the color palette. So pressing shift and X is gonna to toggle between the fill and the stroke. And then press M for the rectangle tool. Hold down shift and click and drag to make a square like so. Now this entire tutorial is based around Illustrator CC. And so we're going to make use of the live corners. Press A for the direct selection tool and then hold down shift. You simply want to click these three live corners and then drag them fully inward, rounding off the corners completely. It's now time to add our pearlescent effect on the design. And to do that, we need to use the freeform gradient tool. You could technically use the gradient mesh function, but with the freeform gradient, you simply click and place your color nodes like so, and then drag them around to rearrange the position. One thing to take note of is that when you change the color node by double clicking it, the window that opens up might obstruct your view, which is really, really annoying. And also you can't move it. So instead double click the color in the gradient menu right here. You can also load up custom swatches if you actually want to work with a specific color scheme that you have in mind. Now it might take some time to get the correct gradient layout. But for a pearlescent effect, try and stick to pinks, purples, and blues. So here's my design at the moment, and you can press G to bring up the gradient nodes. Now is a good time to add the background, and I'm going to use a deep black for that. Also a good method is to use the same gradient for the design on the background. After adding the color with the rectangle tool, I'm going to head into the layers menu, and I'm going to drag it to the bottom of the stack and then also lock it down. The layers menu can also be found at the top under the window menu. So just for convenience, I'm going to rename this the main base layer because we are going to use different layers throughout the tutorial. You can do much of the next steps in the video within the layers window, but working outside of it, just click the design, then press command or control C to copy it and then press command or control F to paste a duplication right over the top. Now hold down the Alt Option key and also Shift at the same time, and then click and drag to scale the design down a little. You're actually just scaling the top shape, which is over the top of the base layer. As before, press A, the Direct Selection tool, and then round off the bottom left corner, utilizing the Live Corners function. Now press V for the selection tool and rotate the circle 180 degrees. You can hold down shift so the rotation fixes to a 180 degree exact rotation. Now we want the opposite gradient for the lighting effects. So repeat the process of copying and then duplicating and then rotating by 180 degrees and then finally scaling down. Now, as you can see, the design is taking shape but there are a few more technical tips to learn in the process. You can press G with the design shape highlighted, and this is gonna bring up the freeform gradient nodes. And with some experimentation, this can really help to add the realism of your design. But do be careful because you might stray away from the lighting effects from being effective. Now you could spend quite a while playing around with different orientations and layouts for this design, and I myself had a lot of fun playing with this. And you can also add as many circles as you want to the design to make it more detailed and more intricate. However, a really cool optional step is to add a blur behind the design. And to do that, come into the layers window and then click the blue square next to the base layer. Duplicate this layer and then select the new one. We can add a Gaussian blur in the effects window and your blur might come out pretty pixelated and horrible looking. And if that's the case, you just want to increase the document raster effect settings. And by default, it's probably set to 36. Also, make sure your design isn't tiny because that will also result in a bad blur effect. 
This blur effect is optional of course, but I think it can add to the effect rather nicely indeed. So like I said, sponsoring today's video is Envato with their really awesome marketplace filled with graphic design goodies. There really is such a huge selection of categories for you to choose from and they're displayed at the very top here. And we're going to be looking at the Illustrator add-ons very soon as I actually did make a quick design using their downloads. But yeah, there is a lot open to any creative or designer here on the Envato marketplace. So in the Illustrator add-on menu, you will find neat effects, typography styles, which look really decent and they do save you time, textures, gradient swatches, and so much more. I actually liked this grunge style set of brushes, and so I gave it a download and utilized it quickly to make a neat design. And here's how I did it. So I grabbed one of the grunge brushes, and then I copied it with Command or Control C. I selected my design, and then I came into the transparency window. I then click the make mask option, uncheck clip, and then in the right hand box, I press Command or Control V to paste in the texture. And then it's just a case of repositioning the brush until satisfied. And this is one quick way to make use of the brushes that I downloaded, and they really do save time in a workflow. But yeah, check out Envato Marketplace linked down below and see what awesome graphic design resources you can make use of in your next project. Also, let me know what you thought of today's video and today's vector pearlescent design. And of course, until next time, guys, design your future today. Peace.